Hey there, Ninja. I'm Stephanie Stiavetti from fearlessfresh.com. Now let's talk about keeping celery fresh. Now, we all know what celery is supposed to look like, right? Like it's supposed to be crispy. It's supposed to crunch when you bite into it. It's supposed to be not bendy, right? But we all know what happens when you take celery and you put it in the fridge. Forget about it for a couple days. Like you can tie it in a knot. Like you could actually, like, I think at one point I actually like turned celery into a heart shape, which was really funny and also very sad because it was a waste of food. But I found the perfect way to keep celery crisp. So initially when you buy it, what you want to do is you want to take your celery and you want to take a damp paper towel. And I don't mean wet paper towel. I mean, get a paper towel, get it wet, and then like wring out as much water as you can from it. It will actually still be pretty wet because you can, there's, it's, physically impossible to wring all the water out of a paper towel. So take that mostly wrung out paper towel, wrap the celery in it, put it in a plastic bag, and that celery will stay, stay super fresh for a lot longer. Now, if you're gonna keep it for like a week or two, you might have to swap out the paper towel or wet it occasionally to make sure there's enough water in there. But celery is a plant, right? It needs water. And just like any other plant, when it doesn't have water, it goes limp. And so this is how you save your celery. So if you have celery, that has already gone sad and limp and you could tie it in a knot, there's a way to save it and bring it back to its perfect, crispy, crunchy texture. Basically what you do is you cut it into relatively long pieces, you put it in a plastic container and you fill that plastic container with ice water. You cover the plastic container, put it in the fridge, a couple hours later your celery will be pretty close to as crispy as it was when you bought it. Now the best way to keep your celery crisp is of course to like not let it get limp to begin with, but this is a really good way to save celery if it's gone a little south on you. So somewhere on this page you will find directions to a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to keep your celery fresh. And as always be sure to visit fearlessfresh.com where you can become a faster, more creative, more effective home cook. Have a good one.